All right, let's try that again. <laughs> ah, well, sometimes it takes more goes than others. Here is the story of Aliens Aim My Babysitter. That should be eight. While out in her clubhouse, Becky's babysitter Molly calls her for dinner. She continues working on her new wrist computer. Suddenly, there is a loud noise outside. Rushing out, she finds her babysitter gone and a note on a patch of scorched grass. The bloogs of frivolous Zacks are going to make a meal out of Molly. You've got to rescue her because your parents will never believe you when you tell them, Aliens ate my babysitter. So many kids when I was young were convinced this game was called Aliens Ate My Baby's Sister. Which it just isn't. Let's try that. That's a bit better. Okay. Alright, so this is the sixth or seventh and final game in the uh, mainstream Commander Keen series. After this, we will be moving on with uh, some mods. But this is the last of... Uh, id software's original works in the series so uh let's do it uh yeah need to change those controls Now, unlike uh, Keen 4, where the beam with Bacon Mega Rocket was really just decorative, uh, here there is a bit of a level, including a free life, and down here, some obstacles. It tells you that uh, you. This sign indicates uh, an area with um, stuff you can get, but that is not necessary for the completion of the game. However, usually you can see it before you go into the area. And that's why I saved. Like that, there we go. Oh, come on. Well, this is going well. We're in level zero and I've already died a bunch of times. One, two. Okay. Well, that was a little embarrassing, but we'll move on now to level one itself, which is Blue Waters Crossing. So this is a rather unusual game in the Commander Keen series in that uh, it was not released through Apogee, like uh, Keen Dreams uh, was also not released through Apogee, but uh, it was also, unlike Keen Dreams, never released as shareware. A three-level demo of the game was available, and uh, boy did I play the living daylights out of that, um, but the there was no shareware version because this is a standalone episode. It was uh, made at the same time as the uh, other Galaxy games. In fact, the order they were made in goes 4, then 6, then 5. But, oh, I meant to shoot down there. 4, then 6, then 5. But uh, this one was held back as a special project and released commercially by Formgen rather than as part of the Goodbye Galaxy series proper. Uh, this means that it is a lot less common and also due to the fact that Formgen have kind of disappeared into the vagaries of bankruptcy and the like, uh, the rights to this game are in what could best be termed somewhat murky territory as a result, it is not offered for sale as part of the Commander Keen pack. Isn't there meant to be an elevator coming? Stuff it. 
uh, there's an extra life over to the top left of the stage. Um, and you can't jump down through that. Um, it also had copy protection. Uh, this version, as it's the Commander Kylie mod, has had the uh, copy protection modded out, actually. Uh, so, you will notice in our status screen here, uh, there are items that can be collected second down on the left. Uh, like the wetsuit in Keen 4, the items are designed to help us progress on the world map and open up extra levels. So for instance, what a tall cliff. Wish I had a rope and grappling hook. So we need to find ourselves a rope and grappling hook. I'm going to guard post one. The uh, copy protection scheme for this game was uh, the manual and um, you had to uh, have the manual which would tell you uh, the names of all the uh, enemies and uh, it would show you a picture of an enemy and you had to uh, tell the game what it was called. We didn't own this game when I was growing up exactly i mean i've owned it for quite some time but um definitely uh, not as long as the other ones and uh the reason for that is i don't just don't think i ever saw a copy of it for sale um i ended up with my copy uh as a friend gave it to me actually um or a friend's parents gave it to me um, this guy who I uh, met, he, his parents lived across the road from uh, my grandmother's house and uh, basically I think he ended up getting shipped off to military school or something. His parents were military and I think they thought of him as a bit of a bad seed. Um, I liked him. Uh, but we played this game together a bit. He had a copy. And uh, so... We would play it together, and uh, when he left, he basically, you know, just said, "You have it. It's not going to do me any good." Uh, so yeah, that was how I got a copy. Uh, this is, again, Xylem's modded version to make it Commander Kylie. That door is a sucker trap that takes you back to the start of the level. Although there is reason to go back to the start of the level and uh, get some items after you flick that switch, but I've never seen really any dire need to do so. So we've finished the guard post, so uh, let's cross into the first Dome of Darkness, which is where we're going to get our first uh, item. The little guys are blueglets. They are annoying little buggers. Um, they push you around, which is a well-established trope of this series. But uh, they also um, sometimes drop keys, uh, being, I think, pretty much the first enemies in the games to uh, drop an item when defeated. Now, the sign, as I mentioned in the Beam with Bacon Mega Rocket, is to indicate an area that is not vital to the completion of the game, but that might have some cool stuff in it.
However, they are usually also the most dangerous areas in the game. So you can see here we're just kind of... Um, collecting points, experiencing more of the game, and uh, dying. We'll do that a lot. This is by far the one, the game in the series that I am the least experienced with. Um, partly because we didn't have it uh, when I was growing up. And so it took a long time for me to get it. And it took a long time for me to learn all the bits, basically. I can't remember what that does. Ah, no. Anyway, as I said, this bit is uh, entirely voluntary. This is the Flect. The Flect is the cause of a game-breaking bug. Um, let's just save and I will demonstrate what the Flect does. Flect reflects your shots back at you, uh, which isn't uh, fatal, or, but is uh, dangerous because it means you're exposed and vulnerable for a second. Uh, because the Flect has to interact with Keen's shots in a way that no other enemy in the series does, uh, there's a difference in the coding in this game because Keen now also has to interact with his or her own shots. Uh, the result being that shots are registered as platforms in this game and platforms behave in a particular way which can be manipulated. Uh, so you can um, ride bullets in this game. There we are. So uh, just up there is our first item. I don't have a blue key yet. I do now. And we'll just cruise up on the platform. Wow, a rope and grappling hook. They look useful. So now we've got the rope and grappling hook, we can open up the central portion of the map. Uh, but let's carry on into the second dome of darkness. Totally different level, we enter it from the other side. Uh, Keen 6 contains perhaps the greatest portion greatest proportion rather of levels uh, that you don't need to play in the Galaxy series. Uh, so in Keen 5 you need to play all the levels, in Keen 6 you need to play barely any. So it's a bit different. Okay. Uh, right. Let's try going this way this time. So we only need to activate that uh, platform before we uh, do much else. I'm 
trying to think when the last time I played this game to completion was. And it was a very long time ago. I think there are levels in this game that I still sort of either not played or not finished. Um, Barca, I think, is one of them. So uh, I do want to try and uh, do all the levels in this playthrough. Even though, as I said, I don't need to. Um, that's the goal. Since I did them all in 4 and 5, I might as well keep it going and try and do them all in 6. I can't remember if you're meant to be able to hit that switch or not. Save early, save often. No, not worth it. You'd be able to hit that switch once you activate that bridge. So you are meant to hit that switch, just not yet. But now... Won't that just deactivate the bridge? No, apparently not. I thought they both had the same symbol. Never mind. They do both have the same symbol, but they don't both do the same thing. I don't know quite what's going on there. Oh no! That was stupid. Ah. Uh, It's going to be an interesting playthrough, boys and girls. I was really surprised, on the whole, how smoothly 4 and 5 went for me. So we've now got a moving platform in there, so we should be able to do that this time. Okay, now what do I do with it? Ah, yes, I've activated this. And there's the exit. What? What hit me? I take issue with that. Oh. Well, I should have looked up, I guess. Okay, that's the first four levels done, though. So, uh, that's going pretty well. We will carry on in the next part, for those of you watching on YouTube, and uh, for those of you watching here on Twitch, uh, stick with me, and we will continue on to Blue Foods.